nice little friendly brawl between the two good friends. This is like the production slash TO team kills. It's a TO team kill. Crazy. But it's also NXM versus 12G, so that's hype. I like that. I like that. Yeah, I, and, and Crow Song is essentially honorary 12G at, 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 at some degree. So just a little. Just a little bit. And, you know, it's always nice to see. And, you know, Cross Song's always having a good time, T.O. And Gene's always stuck in production, I, I, honestly. Can't even warm up sometimes. Yeah. Out here still placing well. That's crazy. One thing I love about Gene is that he'll always come up to me and be like, we got to do our set. Because I promised Gene every time I come to Brooklyn, I will play a best of five set with him. That's good. That's a good promise. Yeah. And he'll always come up to me and he'll be like, dude, we didn't get to play today. I was like, yeah, I know. He's busy. He really wants to make sure that this entire tournament is run well. Him and all the 12G crew. Yo, shout out to the 12G crew. You guys are amazing individuals, man. Literally the goats. I, oh, wait, what stage is it going to? I'm trying to see. I'm predicting small battle. Small battlefield. Yes. Oh, and they got crossing swords. They're, they're taking, oh, yes. a, they're taking a, a piece from, uh, I think I think Gene picked this one because uh, he was telling me, hey, I don't know what Bugs was playing against me. That was like a Xenoblade song. I was like, was it Crossing Swords? It's like, yeah, I think it was that one. Yeah, I, I've been, everyone's been picking the, the songs I've been picking lately, which I like. That's good. Dude, Crossing Swords is actually my favorite song from the Xenoblade series in this game. We have to enforce the like small battlefield agenda. Just like that. Oh my oh. god. You saw that? Pro like, song. we really talked, of, we talked over, you know, just music in general. And you know, sometimes music really does play a part in how somebody's feeling. In, in gameplay. Wow, this is a... And, and this may be Gene's like, like pick on music, but like, no, Crossong's going crazy. Got that first stock in like 30, 40 seconds. Yeah. And already laughing him. Might get this edge guard, barely missing. Oh, yeah, 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 no problem. Yeah. Okay. You know, something I, I we didn't talk about much is that you know, the, the, very good, very good, very yeah, standard. Nice, nice timing, because Prom has a no hitbox on the way up. Yeah. So only at the start, and then, like, once he gets to the apex, then his hitbox is there. After that, it's, like, it's gone. Free, free foot. Yep. So that also goes for, wow, that was, you know, some, sometimes you're just in those situations where you get stage spiked at a very weird angle, and you try to buffer it, and, oh, whoa, the reset situation. That's really smart. I like how Gene's been playing the uh, the platform game. He's like, okay, I don't, I have to do the next guess. I don't have a guarantee here. So what's next? A nice upbeat. I, I like the, I like these reversals. Uh, that that move has armor on startup and it's huge. And, it and it's a, frame six. Yeah, so that's a very very good out of shield object coming from Prom. Ooh, barely <gasps> missing that. I'm surprised Gene barely missed that down there too. Yeah. Now, oh, Krom having the fourth best airspeed in the game, being able to catch, like you know, like so, being able to catch Literally as any height, it, it comes into play. It, it comes into play in its fullest form. You see, we just, let's check this replay out right here. So, you, you saw that the, the pressure got staggered. Two F tilts uh, weren't able to be hit here. The dash attack in this input, pro uh, most likely, uh, but you know, able to make it up by uh, catching Gene doing the high recovery there. Uh, you know, yeah, making I'm, use I'm of that ice, that airspeed. I'm surprised Gene even like went high, like uh, in, in that situation. Right. Like he really wanted to get out of there, but I, I'm not sure if Uppy was the right call. You know, it stops you in place for a little bit unless you do like the V reverse. Right. Something. Right. Yeah. I, I was I was wondering what was going through you know the the mind of of Gene in that particular scenario. I feel like he was waiting for. Uh, you know, Crow Song to to try and regain his footing and you know make a decision based off of where he was in positioning. But you're Crom, you got the speed to go out there. You just go out there, you know. You know, and G's shaking like that last game off immediately, starting like out of the gate with this game with 75 percent, 82, and counting. Here we go. Down here, down here, down it. The double it, dip. Yeah. Mm. I'm just gonna call it like. Yeah, it's definitely a, it's a double dip. Like, yeah, like you don't get spiked on the first one, but yeah. it does pop you off like it was a spike. You get sauced by the first one, then you get you, you get dipped in. It goes over. Uh, he's oh, trying to double dip oh. for this to stop. Oh my Already goodness! Laughing, yo. What a, oh. Oh, my oh my god! Yo, Gene is making Crow Song look like an elite Smash player. Yeah. <laughs> 
In this meta? Damn. Might be right. Yo! Pro no, song? Like, but like that's the life of prom. Sometimes like you know you have good games like the last one and then sometimes you just he, he just gets sauce. Like, yeah. Like, you just get edge guard and then Falco being one of the better edge guarders in this game for sure on the on the higher end. Yeah, I would say, you know, uh, no no way of actually being able to measure how good uh, one's ledge play is, at least character wise, but a nice up tilt with punishing, getting that stock. Cleaning it up. Look at that. still in this. I mean, yo, two stocks for Krom isn't isn't that much. Right, right. Can we talk about Falco's near real quick and how it's a great combo reversal. And speaking of reversals, that was probably the fastest clap back of saying, "Hey, you know what? You took game one, but I'm time. I'm I'm uh, I'm a little tired. Let's let's turn it up a little bit." Like, you know, it's okay. I, I I I threw that game. That was charity. All all for the fans, so I can get. Another game to show you how cool I am. I've seen, I've been seeing Gene uh, do a lot of uh, clapbacks, um, you know, reversals with Phantasm into back air, making use of his positioning to basically cut across, get his back air, get the positioning that he needs to make sure that he secure, either secures the sock in the next situation or kills. Oh yeah, and it's also the aerial version, so the aerial version is safer on like block, and I'm pretty sure it's more positive on hit as well. So definitely, uh, he's like fitting it in these like weird neat spots of catching Croson off guard. And we're going the to town for game three. I, this is a good pick from uh, Croson. I'm wondering Ooh, why. I think he's dead. Go here. Yeah, he's yeah. dead. I wonder why Dean let him go here though. This is such a good like Roy Krom stage. I would never take them here. Yeah. Mainly because like jab bear, uh, jab F smash, like, F tilt, like all these like horizontally killing moves would kill so much earlier here. So I wonder, I want to see how Krom takes advantage of this. For sure, you know. And there's uh, I feel like what's what's the best thing that uh, Falco can capitalize off of is the, uh, you know the stage layout, the space that you have, um, and the agency that you get over just. You know, having air control. He also gets a lot off of the small side blast zones too, as well as like you saw that killing forward air earlier. Right. Uh, he, he pulls you to the blast zone. The blast zone's like right there. You're definitely gonna die way earlier on this stage than you would on other stages. Correct. Same thing for that up tilt back air confirm. Even though the stage is wide, like that confirm getting hit by the ledge will just get obliterated. Back air. That that back air is one of the strongest back airs in the game. Oh nice my counter. goodness. That was a very scary counter, honestly. But oh, wow! Yes, a nice, uh, nice pickup from Crosong. Like, missed uh, getting the the stock to Gene Tech and didn't get the immediate like drop down back air or anything. Yeah. But immediately getting the pickup there with the full hop back air from the ledge. You know, Crosong has been whoa. No, Crosong has been playing really. Oh, oh it's all good. It's all good. He had the read, just barely Two thighs up and a leg. Execution. And cleaning it up, this is an even game. Oh, this is hype. Ooh, okay, nice reversal. Getting him. Didn't get the full combo. Nice cross-up. That was cross a great cross-up. That was amazing. Back air putting him into a horrible position. He's going to get up. dare. Just barely, barely misses. That was so Oh, cool. wow. Good repositioning with the roll. Uh, Phantasm is something that's really hard to adjust to. So sometimes you're just not in the advantage state to mash another button. That might be death. No, no, staying alive. Not hitting the sour spot or the sweet spot there. Not it's definitely here. kill percent. Not anywhere from the middle of the stage, but definitely towards the legends right now. Yeah. He will be dying. From yeah, both, both of these players are in this oh, very... Oh, the jab oh reset God. with the Nair. Okay. Okay. Doesn't get the drag down without the landing hitbox. Oh, that, that's it. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. Wow. Yeah, and Croson gets it. That was a great set. That was you know what? Good. That was really good. You know, despite the SD um, game three on town, I think Croson played this very amazingly. Uh, you know, there are, there are a, a couple of flubs, but, I, you know, I, I like how that fair was so well calculated, in my opinion. And I feel like, you know, he kind of blocked off the air cross up. You know, that's that's where I, he's like, I can't get up there. How do I deal with Falco? I want to put him at the corner, and I don't want him to get stage no, I, control. Yeah, I think the back throw, uh, and even though Gene Tech did like the up air and the and the bear 